Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Today I'm feeling to do something great. Let's do a Judas run. Alright, now as Judas we start with one HP in the Book of Belial, as well as increased damage, and I'm not sure about any other stats. And it'd be really bad if we started. Alright, we're just gonna die off the bat here. Let's try that again. That's one of the things about Judas if you can just die in the first room like that, well you're not gonna have a good time. So we are in cellar one, and we have our shop there, which is probably not gonna be worth fighting on this floor. Also, is it me or did we start with three cents, or am I stupid and didn't notice me picking that up? Anyways, carrying on. Last run we had a very good run, definitely the best one we've had by far. And made by other people's standards, it's not very good, but for my standards, it was very good. We actually hit the 15 minute mark, I believe. And that's a good run, my books. We were playing as Isaac, and we had some pretty good items, you know. Uh, let me try and recap here. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, well, while I'm thinking, the Spoon Banner is a very good item to be taken. I'd be very sad if I died in this run and lost it. Let's kill this fly, but... But yeah, we had... It was a weird run. I remember being the deal of the devil. This is yesterday, and my memory is very bad. But I do remember the deal of the devil where we took items to the point where we were almost dead. We got meat, we got nine lives, we got the pact. It's just an insurance run all around the me. And now this homing tier is going to help us a lot, especially if I was like the widow. And we're going to use Book of a Lie because I just want to ensure that I do not die in this boss, in fact. And we don't really have anywhere else to use it. Alright, so I'll take this guy out. And just keep jumping. And I have had trouble with this guy in the past, but today, not today, bitch. And we actually got Code Hammer for our first upgrade, which is, I'm very okay with this. It's a decent tiers upgrade. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water between floors here. Alright. I'm back very quick for our floors normally, and we do not have a key to access our item, so hopefully we can find one on this floor. Oh, okay, that was very bad. Don't die like this. I actually like Spoon Banner as an item. Some people don't give as much credit as I think it deserves, but that's their opinions. So now we're going to go down. I'd be very sad if I lost this run just because of being stupid. Let's take this guy out, abuse that. Alright, now we need to access our item room. And inside of our item room, we have a little flies. I am perfectly okay with that. That'll give us two out of three oracles and probably protect us from a lot of damage, especially since we can't take that much at this moment. And if we can get a bomb, I'd, like, I'd very much like to access that tinted rock. But for now, let's deal with these floating heads. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. Now just take it easy, and we should be good. Only let the homie tears do the dirty work. There we go. Alright. So hopefully we can at least find some health soon because if not we're gonna die. Uh still no bombs to access that tinted rock, that would be a very good thing. A spirit heart would be nice, just really any form of health would be nice. Even if it's just a half a heart, because I mean we're not one shot away from dying. And like I said before, I like Spoon Better and I really like Halo Flies as well, and I don't want to lose this run. Just for being stupid. Alright? And there we go. And there's that that fabled heart we're looking for. Oh, multiple fabled hearts. There we go. Getting a lot of money from this poop here, apparently. And we're gonna go ahead and fight our boss real quick, see what we get. And it is Steven. Me and we're either get Steven or Little Steven as a boss item, which both of them I'm pretty okay with. And we are gonna use our Book of Belial just to speed this thing up. Oh, and this is not good. But we don't have anyone shooting projectiles at us, so we should be good. Just play it smart, and we shouldn't die. This is not playing it smart. What am I doing? Ooh, that was close. That was not playing it smart. If I had died there, I would just feel awful. That was close as well. And we got our half hour back, and we got little Steven. He's a nice familiar with homie tears as well, so we both have homie tears at this point of the run. So if we go up here, we just have a bunch of headless guys, which is not that hard to deal with. And there we go, take care of this room. Alright, grab a penny. And I don't 
Ooh, now that we have a full heart, actually, we can head over to our mob trap room. See if there's anything worthwhile in there. Hopefully, I, there's probably just going to be a chest in there. I can't even open that. I will accept that tinted rock and that chest in that one room down there is not going to be a viable option. Anyways, carrying on. Like I said last run, it was pretty good. But, we did, still did have some problems with audio and stuff. And I actually figured that out just before this, or recording this. It took me about an hour or two, and basically the problem I was having is that the game was way too loud in comparison to my voice, and no matter how much I turned the levels of the game audio down, it would still stay up when I finished editing it. Well, it turns out apparently the game audio was being recorded on, on the same channel as my voice audio, even though I had set it to record on different channels, and haha, <laughs> very funny game. That bomb would be very great to have. But yeah, it turns out that on my headset, if I have the game sounds up, then it records that, as well as my voice. And so, now that that turned off, we should be good. And hopefully you guys should actually be able to hear my voice throughout this run. Alright, so we go up here into our inner room. Alright, oh my god. I don't even know what I just said about our item room. And we have in the infestation, I think. Eh, not a very good item. We spawn flies every time we get hit, but that's not useful because we don't want to get hit right now. Okay. Be great. Play it cool. Cool. Alright, well we're almost dead again, so maybe if we go over here. Okay, this is a good room. There we go. So infestation actually did some good work there. Killed two of them with the flies that were spawned. Now this guy pop up. There we go. Yeah, we still have no bombs or no keys to really do anything. We don't even have enough money to make the shop worthwhile. And we can't get any money from the secret room because we obviously have no bombs. Right now we are very consumable lacking. Hopefully that'll change in the near future. I mean, if I, I could access this chest, that could maybe change, but I can't access it because I don't have any bombs. You gotta spend money to make money. And we have no money right now. I mean, metaphorically, we do have a little bit of money. But 8 cents in actuality really isn't that much. Unless you're living back in like the 1930s where 8 cents could maybe get you a, I don't know, a candy bar? A few candy bars? I don't know how much stuff was back in the 1930s. I mean, you see all the propaganda and stuff and it's like, oh, bottle of coke, 5 cents. I'm like, I wish a bottle was 5 cents and we are dead. That's not very good. How about we try something else? Because Judas obviously isn't working out for my poor play. Uh, I do want to try and beat Isaac with all the characters before we get into the challenge runs down here, but I'm not sure. Maybe we'll try one of these. We still have a lost one, apparently. I'm thinking we just go for... Let's go for a blue baby run. Or question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know where I get the term blue baby for this guy. I've heard it before, and it just kind of stuck with me. But... Hey, we're just gonna give this a try instead of Judas, and you could argue that this is even harder than a Judas run, but we're gonna try it and see if we can succeed, maybe. You know, the main problems with these runs that we have no, oh, no generation of spirit, and every time I take a little bit of stupid damage like that, I can't recover it with a red hat like I normally would. I right, take that guy. We have two of clubs. We might want to hold on to that. Uh, if we use it right now, we can get two bombs just for free. Oh, hell you guys. Alright, this is the one room that I always have fun with. Come on. Come on down my fuck corridor. There we go. Oh, he's still alive. Crap. There we go. So, we'll take these guys out. And try and avoid taking stupid damage. That way we can keep our spear hearts. But well, we are going to need some form of speed art generation, be it the Book of Revelations, or the Mitre, the Relic. It's a bunch of things that could work. We got the Crystal Ball in the last run, which was... And maybe a little little too late, because we didn't get much use out of it. Like what? One use, maybe? And that was gone very quickly. So it was a nice gesture game, but a little too late. And so it looks like we're actually getting some consumables, and... Oh, I guess it's going to turn to a Spirit Heart Isaac run. So let's so roll the boop, and we get Tough Love, which is actually pretty good. Then we shoot teeth every now and then. Let's see if we can get one. Yep, there's one. 
if we get some luck ups, that would be very nice actually. That way we can just start shooting more and more tears. Not tears, teeth. There we go. And as you can tell right there, our teeth are pretty strong. And now we'll actually get some consumables on this run, which I'm very happy with. And right now, using the tool clubs, I don't think it'd be worthwhile. If we can get a few more bombs before we use it, then we can get our maximum worth out of it. So now we have to fight Gemini. This is not a very difficult boss fight. Excuse me, I had to burp there for a second. I just got finished eating, and sometimes I just just get the burps. Not quite sure why. And this is the green version. I'm not sure what that means. I mean, obviously he's disconnected from his little floating brother in there. But other than that, I'm not sure if there's much of a difference. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. Come on. If we can line him up along the wall. It doesn't seem very fast, but if we can line him up along the wall, then we should be able to just take him out. It's just like, oh, almost like that. Okay, we're just going to shoot at him. It's not kind of cool. Oh, come on. This is always the worst part about the Gemini fights, taking out this little shit. And now we will kill him and maybe get... Okay, we got a spirit from which is very good. I guess maybe that's the special thing about it. And we will take the coat hanger guy. I mean, we can't really reroll it anyways. And on to the next floor. Now, as... Question mark, question mark, question mark, kaboo, baby. We do have a better chance of getting deals with the devil, I think. Well, actually, a very good chance. Because I think you're chance is lowered based on the amount of red heart damage you take but obviously being that we have no red hearts we can't really take red heart damage so i don't know we'll see what happens and if we do get that i'm not sure if i'd want to trade with my health anyways considering we don't have that much of it now the spirit heart i mean this tinsy rock thing the spirit hearts would be a great help but the game is feeling a little trolly today so it's like gives a golden chest that we don't want to open so we need to save this key for our item room and there we go take that guy out now, last run, we were also having some weird technical difficulties where, I guess you could say my my monitor kept cutting out, just kept going black for like a few seconds and coming back. Then that few seconds is enough for me to start taking damage, which is obviously not a good thing. And hopefully it won't count that anymore. I've only seen it a few times within the past couple of days, so we should be fine. I mean, this, oh crap, that was very bad damage to take. Oh my god. Are we gonna die here? No, we're not. If we play it smart, we should be good. Just one big guy is taking away all my hearts. Let's take away the... Come on. Take away the lesser of the two evils. There we go, that's one. One hit. That's two hits, there we go. Alright, and for our trick, we add mushroom, which I'll take because we have nothing else. And in our room we have infestation again. Now last time I didn't have the D60 reroll it, but now that I do, I'll be rolling it. And we'll get toothpicks, which I guess we'll take. It's a tears upgrade. And I know And I know there's something to do with special item that toothpick isn't really that good. But we're gonna take it anyways, because I like having a good rate of fire. And on the last one, I keep referring to the last one, but we actually had a really good rate of fire towards the end there thanks to some tears upgrades that we got. And actually, Cancer, it doubles our fire rate, which is, makes it one of my favorite trinkets by far. Alright, then we'll take this neat guy out. There we go. Now, if we carry on, we have a fly room. Which this would be great if we had fly love, but no arcades and no... Well, I guess just no arcades for us to ever see the item. Water, can you get that anywhere other than the arcade? I'm not sure. Alright, let's take out these guys. And one of the perks of being this blue guy is that we have access to all these boss trap rooms. And I don't think that's a good enough trade. So how about we go fight our boss and get a d6 roll? And maybe we can reroll that. We are fighting the black monster, which I'm honestly not sure what this variation of him does. I don't know what many of the variations do. Maybe he has more health, it seems like? I don't know. Monster is typically a fairly tanky enemy. Alright. So if we can just get some more teeth up in his grill. There we go. That's what I have to see. And some luck upgrades would be very nice, as I said before. I wouldn't mind taking Pilsen. Is there any way to get a luck up other than 
Ooh, Squeeze is very good for us, actually, for the Spear Darts and for the Rate of Fire. I'm not sure if there's any way to actually get luck upgrades other than hills. And this is an interesting process. We have Brimstone and we have the Mark. And we can also re-roll it, but do we want to use that re-roll on the boss trap room? Hmm. The Mark, I just don't think it's good enough, so we re-roll it. And I'll definitely take Spirit of the Night. Because this will help prevent us from taking damage in the near future, just like it did on the last run. Oh, um, maybe I should have taken that range up with the boss ever. I don't know. But now we can access all these things we couldn't before. Now we have Spectral Tears. Combined with our Rate of Fire could be a very nice thing. The only bad thing about Spectral Tears is just knowing to take out those fires and poops and stuff. But, thanks to these pits, we literally cannot die in this room. Play it smart. Oh, and thanks to our Liberty Cap, we got a... I guess a cup is sort of affecting. It looks like our item room's over here, so that's where we're heading to first. So if we head down, yep, and we have some pennies. And another thing about Spirit Line, it's very good for these rooms with the layouts that I'm in right now. Just the ones with like the open floors and the one wide pathways, are, they're just awful. Because sometimes you just can't avoid taking damage to like silkworms or something on it. But, oh well. I guess they're not so much. They're more like maggots, I think. But what do I know? So we'll go in here. We have a chest. And I say sure, we'll do it. And that is literally the exact thing I didn't want in. But oh well. Let's just roll with it. Now let's get some fire some teeth here. There we go. Now I think we can get out of here without taking damage. I know the last run. I, I know I keep referring to the last run a lot, but we avoided all of these things, all these mob trap rooms. I was worried about taking damage because we're in a bad position. In that case, I'm going a little bit ballsy on this run because we are going to fight as you can tell because we're fighting it right now. Alright, so let's take these guys out. There we go. We should be good. Oh, these guys spawned in a weird pattern, but okay, if that's how you want to live your life, I can't tell you what to do. Come on, pop up. There we go. Now let's take out this last guy without taking damage and this will be... I, I guess a net positive room just because we got a bomb and a d6 charge out of it. Let's head back down and reroll our item room. I don't even remember what was in there. I'm trying to think. Oh, well, I guess we'll see for ourselves in a minute. Oh yeah, Mr. Boom, which is not very good. <laughs> so we'll reroll him and get the Book of Shadows, which I don't think that beats the d6. So we are going to carry on. Thank you, Libby Cat, for that little speed boost to get through that really quickly. So now we're gonna head up here. Take these spiders out. That's another room that we just shouldn't take any damage on. If I do, I'm stupid. That's why I love Spear of the Night, because, or just flying items in general, because you can get to parts of the map that you otherwise couldn't get to. You get to all the consumables on the map. It's a very nice thing to have. And here's the example room that. If we play it smart, we shouldn't be taking damage on it. The only problem is with these one wide, I guess you could say, holes in the floor, is that sometimes you don't position yourself on it correctly and you end up taking damage because while well, you're off the edge a little bit, they can still hit you. And so if we just do this and shoot through the rocks, we can take out these, I don't know, molds? I still think they look like molds. I don't know what they're supposed to be. And we won't maybe... Not yet. I was actually saying we'll go fight the boss, but I'm not feeling it right now. Let's check for this secret room real, real quick. Because if we do get a deal with the devil, then we may not be able to take it. Because we don't have any spirit house. I'm not saying we're going to get enough spirit house for the deal with the devil within the next couple of rooms. But maybe we can get something. Who knows? I figured it's fine. If we can get a d6 charge for our item room. And actually, I think I'm going to just fight the boss room because we're not going to get another d6 charge anyways. And if there is a deal with the devil that we want to re-roll, then I think we might do that. If we get 9 lives in it, that'd be very beneficial. Like, I think that'd actually be an objective upgrade on right now, because we can take all the deals with the devil we want. And so here's another fairly easy boss, and due to a, a little bit of testing, I guess, on the last run, we, can te we know that that little sperm guy doesn't shoot unless you're not over the rocks. And we got Cat and Nine Tails, which is pretty bad. But, what can we get from a boss room that would be better than something from an item room? I oh, mean, a pentagram, but that's very rare. I think it'd be more worthwhile to reroll the item room. 
and we have lard. So I guess that'll do. I'm, well, normally it's like, it's two HP upgrades. Oh, there we go. We got our full second heart there for Darzine. It wasn't there at first, but we got it now. I think that'd be better because I guess the best thing we get in here would be nature upgrade, but that would only give us one. And do we want to take it? Nah, I'm not feeling it. So we'll carry on to the next floor. We are on caves too. So let's go ahead and take these guys out. Just get a shot in. I don't like these guys just because you have to be perpendicular to them and they fire perpendicular. So you really gotta... You can only hit them without... Well, you can't hit them without putting yourself in harm's way. That's why they're just a bad enemy for me to be against. So I take a lot of damage against those guys. Here you go. We have our little fish shield bits over here. And if we can try and explode them over the chasms, then we can prevent it from spawning those little maggots. And we took damage right there. Like I said before, I'm very bad at diagonal lines. And there it is again. Some more damage. But we are taking them out with the chasm, so we have to deal with those little maggots sort of guys. Let's see, can we take out all of them? Yes, we can. I gotta say I handled that pretty well, except for the silly damage, and hey, we're gonna fight maggots anyways. And we are a little bit slower for taking Buckle Lark, but it's not that much of a problem right now. I think the two spirit hearts would be worth it, because we'd actually be dead right now had we not taken it. And we are gonna fight our boss real quick, just so we don't let our D6 charge go to waste. And, a uh, little chat's okay, but as Blue Baby, or question mark, question mark, question mark, I don't know what to call him. It's literally useless, so... And we can't re-roll it because it's a special item, but... At least it's kind of an easy boss fight. As long as we play it smart, we shouldn't be taking that much damage, really. There we go. So let's just take out a little shit. And we don't have piercing shots this time, so it won't be as easy as last time. But we can use the rocks as cover and shoot through them, fortunately. Alright, he's gonna charge at me. Anyway, just stay right up there, please. I'm fine with that. And we really haven't gotten any damage up yourself throughout the course of this run, which would somehow be very nice in the near future. Because as you can tell, we're really not doing that much damage to Little Chad. I mean, thanks to our fire rate, we can keep up with the times. But without it, what would we really have? Nothing. So let's go ahead and take it. Is that we should I guess you would say that Tough Love was a damage upgrade, but we don't fire teeth constantly. So it's not a full-on damage upgrade. And, oh sweet, that bomb hit little chat. And we did get a deal with the devil, and I'm not going to take him just because it's completely useless. And we have... Necronolicon, Sister Maggie. Both are pretty bad. Ooh, and here's that nine lines I was actually talking about. No, we can't take it anyways. Okay, can we take the pact? No. Fuck. Alright, hopefully that'll still be there by the time we get back. Hopefully. And maybe we can get some spear house because so we can take the nine lives out. I guess ensure any deals with the devil in the future. Now, I mean, at least we didn't take it, so it could appear in the deal with the devil in the future, but I'd like to get it now because, I mean, we are getting pretty close to death here every now and then. And with every brush of death, I hope we have nine lives just to, rec to save us like it did in the last run. Like, without nine lives, I think that last run would have been much shorter. And we actually might die here because I'm taking some pretty awful damage. So let's just be smart. Come on, pop up. There we go. Use the rocket's cover. And we shouldn't die. We shouldn't die. If I die, then I deserve all the hate messages anyone might send my way. But, sorry about that. We should be good on this run. Or on this room, actually, I meant to say. And then we have Monster Pearl, which is actually better than the Liberty Cat because it gives us an increased chance of getting Spirit Hearts. But, is it really worth it? Yeah, but it might be a little bit, a little too late. Just like the crystal ball on the last run. I'm sorry, I can't help talking about the last run. It's the only one we've really had that was good and, I guess, comparable to. All the other ones, we just died right away. So, let's take out these the fat maggots. And we can't go into the... I can't know what it's called. The curse room, because we have one... Half a spirit heart and we would die. Well, I guess instantly. So we head down here and try to find our item, which sucks that it's probably been the last thing we find, and we can't re-roll it that often. But, oh well. If we just play this smart, we shouldn't die in here. Okay, there we go. So I'm just 
trying to focus. I'm very worried about dying in this room. Uh, this room especially, I'm not really bombizing. They're all champions. Great. Now let's see if I have another item room. So I guess it's like a little test. If we can get through this room, we can finally get to the item room. Potentially get something amazing. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a polyphemus in there or something amazing. There we go. Two of them are down. We got a penny from one. And from the other, we get uh, another diamond. Meaning the shot might actually be worthwhile. But I think I'd rather go to the item room. And we have the world, which will save. Might as well pop two of clubs because why not? I want to take the world card with me. If we go in here, we get telepathy for dummies. That's pretty god awful. So we're going to reroll that into Kamikaze, which is also pretty god awful. And carrying on. Maybe we can get another D6 charge. I don't know how many rooms there are. Maybe. Ooh, I'm dead. Well, we're at 25 minutes, 26 minutes. Uh, I feel kind of badly in that, but I think that is where we're going to end it today. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for my terrible play. We lost some, actually some pretty decent runs here. But anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.